So in this video, I am going to be talking about the wiring harness from the engine into the cabin. There will be a couple plugs that you will have to change out because I'm using a K20 engine wiring harness on a K24A2, which is the TSX engine. And my wiring isn't that clean because I just wanted to get this car up and running and get a video out to you guys on how I did my wiring. And so what I went ahead and did was I routed the cable under this cover that sits on top of the valve cover. And it comes out through here, goes underneath the battery tray and into the firewall. And this still needs to be cleaned up. And just to show you how short this engine wiring harness is, that's the most I could get. So the first thing I'm going to do here is <clears throat> I'm going to run my wires to where I need to run them. Um, and what I ended up doing was I took out the bracket because uh, what happens with the stock harness, um, it's, it's going to be pretty short. And so I need as much wiring as I can get. Um, so the first thing I did was I'm going to probably take it out, take the wires out of the sleeve and... Um, and just kind of gauge of how much wire I can squeeze into um, the firewall. Uh, it will help you to remove the fuse box so you have access. And I routed the B-series wires into the cabin. Um, I will probably end up having to get rid of, to get rid of these wires because they're no longer going to be used. This RSX harness has a, it's a six pin, but only five wires connected. And it's the female. And here is the Accord um, harness that it needs to plug into. And as you can see, it's also a female plug along with uh, five wires connected. And and the color on that wire is the same color on this wire because these two are supposed to plug in. So what I'm going to do here with this existing Accord um, harness that came with the motor that I got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this male plug and going to resolder this harness into this RSX harness. So now I just got done soldering up this male plug to plug into this female plug that is on the charge harness. So that is done. Okay guys, here is the crank angle sensor. Um, this is an RSX plug and with this plug, um, on this K24 engine, the plug does not work because it's just a little bit different kind of plug. Um, fortunately, I have the harness that came with this engine. Um, and this plug is the correct plug right here. As you can see on the K24 um, TSX engine, um, it goes with the plug on top or with the um, the release. It's 
yellow, black, blue, um, looks blue, and then brown, yellow. And then on the RSX, it goes blue, brown, yellow, and then yellow, black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to depin this out, depin this blue plug from this RSX, and I am going to put the TSX plug. And but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I keep this order. So I'm going to make sure I keep the um, when I pull the. Or, um, the yellow black wire out I'm going to make sure I keep it in this order so when I'm going to pull from the RSX I'm going to make sure I keep the same order as this pin so I'm going to just remember the order yellow black stripe blue brown so I'm going to take a picture of this so I can remember the order because this is how I'm going to pin it Now that leaves us with this plug, here from the RSX plug, it will not plug into this sensor right here. And I am not quite sure what sensor this is. My guess is it's the speed sensor. So on my existing extra harness that came with the engine I found a plug that will work and that plug is female plug and I found the extra plug on the wall the wiring harness that came with the engine so this plug will actually fit so i'm going to i'm going to depin this and depin the other plug and uh hook it up okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this cover okay with this kind of plug there's a tab back deep back there kind of towards the back of the pin so you're just going to lift up on that plastic piece back there and okay just lift up on that plastic piece back there press on the bottom of this pin Okay, so as I'm depinning this, I want to make sure that um, I'm putting it in the right, correct slot. So I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the far right. Pop that down. Push the pin towards the bottom and then pull the pin out. Okay, after extending my speed sensor cable, um, you're going to be looking at the plug um, this side up. So it's going to be the release button on top. And the order... For this transmission, the um, 2012 SI transmission, um, so on the, if you're looking down right at the plug on the left side, this cable right here is a black and yellow, which is the uh, power. The middle cable, which uh, I have as white and green this is the signal and then the far right 
is the ground. Um, this one is and this one's solid black. And this is the correct wiring for this transmission. And um, this will not work. Uh, you know, as I mentioned in the video, that this transmission, this speed sensor has a high frequency. And with the RSX um, ECU, the Honda data that I'm using, which is a 2002 to 2004 um, RSX, um, that takes a low frequency. So what's going to have to happen here is that even if you get this wiring right, um, your Honda data is not going to be able to read the signal correctly and your speedometer is not going to work so um i got some help with uh turbo active i reached out to him uh shout out to turbo active for helping me with this issue and what we're going to do with this to solve this issue is install a digital dakota digital dakota uh speedometer um speed converter box and um i will show you guys in another video on how to hook up that box but um but this in the meantime will just get you uh get your wiring done um for your um swap if you like this video Please hit the like and subscribe button and uh, please share this video. Thank you.